जापान में अच्छा खासा आपका काम चल रहा था आपकी जॉब चल रही अच्छा कंपनी भी काफी अच्छी है इंडिया में भी आपने जो जो काम किया यहाँ पे वो गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर में आपकी ट्रेनिंग हुआ था ट्रेनिंग हुआ था तो जापान खुद में ही एडवांस कंट्री में आता है सब कुछ ओके है वहाँ पे तो ऐसा क्या मोटिवेशन फैक्टर था कि आपने वो सब चीज़ छोड़ के डिसाइड किया कि मैं जर्मनी आके अब अपना आप स्किल करके और इसी पर्टिकुलर कोर्स में आना चाहता हूँ हाई वन अंशुल एयर फ्रॉम आर के रोवसी एजुकेशन और जैसे कि मैं इंगो स्टार्ट में हूँ अभी अभी हम लोग हैं टी एच हॉक्शुल इंगो स्टार्ट के कैंपस में अच्छा खासा बड़ा कैंपस है ये यहाँ पे जिसके जो मेजर कोर्सेज हैं जो काफ़ी फेमस है क्यों क्योंकि ये इंग्लिश और प्रोग्राम्स की अगर आप लोग अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ देखते हो जर्मनी में आने के लिए तो टी एच इंगो स्टार्ट में आपको विंटर और समर इंटेक में मास्टर्स के लिए इंग्लिश और प्रोग्राम्स काफ़ी सारे वराइटीज़ में मिल जाते हैं और साथ के साथ में मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड से अगर आप हो यहाँ पे तो आपको मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड से भी यहाँ पे ऑटोमोटिव इंजीनियरिंग हो गया आपके यहाँ पे कोर्स लॉजिस्टिक एंड सप्लाई चेन के भी हो रहे होते हैं ग्लोबल प्रोसाइड एंड मैनेजमेंट का कोर्स हो गया बिजनेस एंड इंजीनियरिंग का कोर्स हो गया ये सारे आपको यहाँ पे इंग्लिश और प्रोग्राम से मिल जाते हैं अब उसी में ही एक एक बहुत ज़्यादा डिमांडिंग कोर्स जो हमेशा से मेरे पास में कोरीज उसकी आती भी रही है कॉल्स आती हैं कि भाई मेरे को जर्मनी जाकर अगर करना है कोई कोर्स तो वो ऑटोमोटिव इंजीनियरिंग का कोर्स का अब उतना है बहुत लॉजिक रीज़न भी है क्योंकि जर्मनी ऑटोमोटिव सेक्टर में एक तरह से सुपर पावर रहा है पहले से और अभी भी काफ़ी सारे यहाँ पे अब जो नए नॉर्म्स वगैरह आते हैं इंडस्ट्री में ऑटोमोबाइल वाले में उसको लेके यहाँ पे पढ़ाई इतनी प्रैक्टिकल ओरिएंटेड होती है कि लोगों का एक ड्रीम होता है कि भाई मेरे को टी एच इंगो स्टार्ट में एडमिशन मिले उसी एक ड्रीम की बात करते करते जैसे अब्दुल अभी यहाँ से इंटरनेशनल ऑटोमोटिव इंजीनियरिंग का कोर्स कर रहे हैं मास्टर्स का और अब्दुल ने भी शायद आपने कोई वीडियो देखा था हमारा ऐसा कुछ हुआ हाँ। इंट्रोडक्शन पहले दे दो फिर मैं वाला चीज़ आपसे पूछूंगा आई एम अब्दुल हादी एंड आई एम फ्रॉम बैंगलोर इन इंडिया एंड आई हैव अ बैचलर्स इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग after which i worked for a couple of years in japan so while i was working there you know i made a decision that you know uh, it's time for me to say upskill myself and uh, learn a little more i felt that gap while i was working uh, you know I, w- i could feel it that uh, i have to like upskill myself so that i can do well or propel in my career in the future so therefore i decided that uh, i want to pursue masters in international automotive engineering so while i was searching for universities since there are firstly there are very few universities in germany which offer okay. english taught programs in automotive engineering right as far as i know i think there are just four courses out of which ingolstadt is one among them so i was looking for videos or basically uh, any consultancy who can help me out in the application process because i was in japan and it was it's quite task when you are working and you have to do all the application process by yourself because i didn't have the time so that is when i came across arcare it was through a youtube video where one of your student was studying in fh akan again an automotive course in english taught program so that is how i ended up getting in touch with arcare consultancy right so like uh, see like uh, abdul basically uh, approached us of watching one of our videos of, of a student who is into fh akan pursuing the same course however like when we spoke about this uh, the admission process and everything now as he mentioned that there there are hardly let's say very few courses in germany which are being offered in english uh, for this particular uh, stream of of the course now for the winter intake when we when we started shortlisting the universities mm-hmm. after adding a uh, courses such as electro mobility hai na transport engineering vehicle engineering these sort of courses we we come across how many 6 to 7 universities only yes. which could be processed uh, the application for and th ingolstadt and this fh akan stands out as the topmost uh, in the line of let's say universities who are offering this particular courses the problem with fh akan was like they, they have gre yeah, mandatory GRE requirement and, and i think B1. german requirement a2 as well A2 to at the time of application they are asking for right now abdul being in japan like he he is working already in japan and then of course when you are working full time and also into an abroad country it is a bit difficult to practicing for the gre in appearing for the exam as well as to learn the german language also so we we decided ki theek hai uh, let's let's keep aside the gre uh, requirement we'll only focus on those universities who are asking for ielts mm-hmm. and german if required he will possibly try to learn german yeah. agar deadline se pehle ho paya mm-hmm. to otherwise we'll skip the german wala part as well right to ab finally wo sab karte karte hamara yahan pe admission hua ab अब वो जो पॉइंट था इस वाले वीडियो का जो एक मेरे को जो दो चीज़ें इसमें डिस्कस करनी थी वो ये था कि जापान में अच्छा खासा आपका काम चल रहा था आपकी जॉब चल रही अच्छा कंपनी भी काफ़ी अच्छी है इंडिया में भी आपने जो जो काम किया यहाँ पे वो गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर में आपकी कंपनी ट्रेनिंग हुआ था ट्रेनिंग हुआ था तो जापान खुद में ही एडवांस कंट्री में आता है सब कुछ ओके है वहाँ पर तो ऐसा क्या मोटिवेशन फैक्टर था कि आपने वो सब चीज़ छोड़ के डिसाइड किया कि मैं जर्मनी आके अब अपना आप स्किल करके और इसी पर्टिकुलर कोर्स में आना चाहता हूँ तो पहले तो आई वॉज इंटरेस्टेड इन ऑटोमोटिव इंजीनियरिंग एंड दैट समवेयर आई पर्टिकुलरली वॉन्टेड टू बिल्ड माई करियर इन सो दैट वॉज द सोल रीजन ऑफ कमिंग टू जर्मनी नॉट बिकॉज जर्मनी इज अ सुपर पार ऑफ ऑटोमोटिव मे बी इट इज बट टू मी बिकॉज आई वॉज इंटरेस्टेड इन परस्यूइंग अ करियर इन ऑटोमोटिव इंजीनियरिंग सो दैट वॉज वन रीजन वाई आई चूज 
to pursue masters right? Right, right and secondly moving from japan to germany that was a difficult decision honestly because i was doing well there and uh, i liked everything but uh, you know again when you work and when you have the opportunity to pursue masters then I, why not right i still had a plan b i can still continue working in japan so give it a shot uh, to one of the uh, a few of the german universities so that i can move there and pursue my masters and uh, you know build my career from there on so yeah no i can see like for this i want to add on like let's suppose if he doesn't got in entry into th english sir i don't think that he would opt it for any yeah, other yeah i i wouldn't uh, have courses. taken any other course i was particular because i still had uh, a job in japan right so i had nothing to lose and yeah for now masters yeah and i remember the time like because he like it is to be very honest everyone has need to understand germany is one such country where if you are applying for public universities you cannot expect every institute to give you the admission right na it is not like uk us where you are paying a tuition fees to the university and then you are bound to get admission letter right? it is that is in those countries germany is completely dedicated to your academic background the performance that you have made in your bachelor's course other language requirements and all coming together and then they will decide okay ki bhai tum iske liye layak ho bhi ki nahi yahan padhne ke liye tab ja ke aapko yahan pe admission milta hai to hamare bhi kuch rejections wagera aa rahe the ab Abdul was also disappointed. Then we have a time difference. He Japan me hai, me the apne log India me hai. Call wagera chiz hoti thi. Tell us the experience that when you heard about the admission, like wo kya us samay? Because it was a special moment tha me liye bhi. Wo kaisa tha us us din ka? Toh asa bata do. So, pehle to I'll run you through the overall process. So I got in touch with Arkay me bhi. I think in the month of April somewhere. And I was not planning to honestly apply in the coming winter semester because I felt I was underprepared. And given that I didn't have the time to prepare all the documents and you. know since the application process for each of the university is different and you have to like really sit and go through the application process so that was a task so i had given up on winter semester and i was planning for summer semester prepare well and then go ahead so and then as i told you earlier i got in touch with rkr and they told me that we'll give it a shot if it happens cool if not we still have summer semester because my course is offered in both summer semester and winter semester so like coming back again to the question i wanted you to explain what was the moment when you actually got the admission yeah okay so my bad <laughs> my bad okay so yeah i, I as i told you i got uh, quite a few rejections and i was uh, i was you know trying to really work myself through where where is that i couldn't get it right so i was actually on call with uh, sir at that time you know we were going through all the uh, uh, maybe we were running through the results of different applications so i think we had a rejection in almost 3 to 4 uh, yeah. right yeah. one was because i didn't have german a2 so they wanted me to uh, you know produce that in time which i could not and this was i think the last university which was left and i had lost same, hopes and because i didn't really have a lot of hopes that i would make it through in this because it's there's a lot of demand and cgpa plays a significant role so i had a good cgpa but i felt it was not good enough and yeah so we while we were on call you know it so happened that uh, he told me that you know i've got an admit and i think that mail was he received that mail just a few minutes before uh, like we, or we while were on, we were on huh? call Uh, so his like yeah. uh, email id from where we apply the application and then i received a new email which says the admission status has changed huh. and when i checked it it says admission being yeah. offered so <laughs> i actually had lost hopes to be honest i was thinking maybe i'll have to work through all my lors and everything else and you know fine tune it a little more and give it a shot the next semester but uh, things worked out in my way so so this is again like a very important thing like germany if you are applying to 10 or n number of universities you cannot lose your hope till you have received the information about your application from the last university this is this has not happened only with abdul i have seen students earlier as well i have already met ashish who is studying in koblenz he also got admission at the very last moment hai right? na because and this is not because ki it is uh, let's say we are we are doing something bad for your other applications and good for this particular university it is solely because germany has huge competitive like applying to german universities every single student who is let's say planning to pursue mechanical engineering courses automotive computer science data science they are all targeting germany at the moment and then you have to apply to let's say n number of universities whatever you are eligible you should target those universities and do not lose hope there are still a lot of public universities available here and we indians are the maximum let's say the highest community of the abroad uh, students from foreign coming to germany is indians only now so sab asani se sab ho sakta hai but aapko thoda sa perseverance apna rakhna padega you got the visa i think there was 3 3 to 4 days ha lo sir yeah the, getting the visa is not a problem uh maybe from other countries but the appointment is where you know the real task lies yeah in 3 4 days is is very fast like to get a visa itself mm-hmm. right so like it, it was really nice uh, meeting abdul because i been asked telling him ki bhai theek i'll be coming to uh, ingostad uh, har din isko main bolta ki main aane wala hu aane wala hu karke and then finally i got to meet him 
it's so much of uh, let's say inputs that he has given about this course as well which will be very helpful for all the other students as well so again thank you abdul uh, for giving us your time yeah. and uh, if any one of you are planning to come, come to germany for your bachelor's master studies house building perhaps or if you're planning to come here for nursing doctors as well then you can always contact us uh, email us call us and then we'll be happy to assist you thank you for watching our video thank, thank you, you.